Where is the land source? This is probably Gordon Ramsay's most famous quote ever. Many people suspect that Gordon still hasn't found it. That he walks the halls of his restaurant each and every day, still searching for that long lost lamb sauce. It was after I found myself combing through tons of where's the lamb sauce memes at three in the morning recently when I decided this. I'm gonna make Gordon Ramsay his precious lamb sauce. And just you wait to see what we're gonna pour it on top of at the end. But for a task like this, I'm gonna need some help. After all, if a full team at Hell's Kitchen can't pull it together to make this seemingly simple sauce, how can I be expected to do this on my own? And that's where he comes in. The second I heard Nick was setting out to make the lamb sauce, I knew I needed to help. And for good reason. Not long ago, I made what I thought was gonna be a really good lamb burger. Why don't we watch that? Gordon Ramsay, you're one of the biggest reasons why I cook today. Let me make you a lamb burger. Start off with some beautiful 80-20 lamb. Now mix and form into two beautiful patties. And Mr. Ramsay, don't you forget, if you drop a follow, I'll love you forever. To my surprise, I woke up one day and he had responded to my video. It was pretty hard. Lamb burgers. Okay, good. Let me make you the a toughest burger on the planet Start to get right. No, 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 no. Um, a little bit too thick. And it Mr. won't Ramsey, cook evenly in the middle. No, you salt, don't put salt mix. on top of feta. The lamb's raw. No, this Where's not. the lamb sauce? So what does this video tell us exactly? Apparently Gordon is still looking for the lamb sauce. And we're here to help. So we started by searching the web for the very best lamb sauce recipe out there. And after cross-referencing all sorts of articles and videos, it became quite clear that we need to use a variety of top-notch ingredients. A good lamb sauce will have a well-balanced stock based with shallots, carrots, and celery. Then we'll secure a variety of high-quality lamb bones and perhaps a few other magic ingredients to round it out. Before we leave to secure those ingredients, we are still catching up to Gordon. So make sure to smack that subscribe button Hello. I subscribed and now I know how to cook. I even start my own channel. We're now headed to a local butcher shop where they've set aside some of the best cuts of lamb you can possibly get. I almost just got into a car accident. You f***ing donut! I trust you to get the best bones money can buy. I won't let you down. Oh my. Let's acquire some lamb bones. So we're making Gordon Ramsay's lamb sauce. We need the best lamb bones that we got. They have femurs, yeah. H bone, which is part of the hip bone. Let's do like five, six pounds. You want me to cut them up a little bit so they're a little easier to fit in the pie? Perfect. We've secured the bag. Now that we've made it back home with all of our beautiful bones and meat, it's time to season. For our seasoning, we're gonna start off with some smoked paprika. And then follow this with some onion powder. I'm gonna follow that up with some garlic powder. Then we'll come across all our meat with a little bit of chili powder. A little MSG so we can keep Uncle Roger happy. Then just a nice light drizzle of white pepper. And to finish it off, I'll let you do the honors. And I know Nick's not a fan of salt, babe, but I'm gonna do this anyway. How dare you. And once our meat is nice and beautifully seasoned, we'll place them all back into this bowl. At this point, into our pan we go with just a little bit of oil. That that we've rendered off a lamb, that is. Then in we go with our beef. While I'm getting a beautiful sear on all this meat, I'm gonna be over here rough chopping a bunch of vegetables. We have here the classic mirepoix with a small twist using shallots instead of onions. Now to finally begin making the lamb sauce so we don't get cursed out the way those people in Hell's Kitchen did. No. So, off you, you fat, useless sack of f***ing Yankee Danky doodle sh off, will you please, yeah? We'll start by adding in a whole stick of butter. A whole stick? I like butter. When the butter's melted, we're gonna go in with our shallots, follow that with our carrots, and finally our celery. If you're watching what's going on right now, you can already probably tell this is gonna be a delicious lamb sauce. Welcome to Paris. Welcome to what? Paris? No one knows that. No. Rush hour three. Yeah. I'm nervous for you right now. Once those have been going for a bit, we're gonna go in with some lamb broth concentrate to really start getting some of that flavor. And then we go in with a few sprigs of rosemary. Then in with all of our incredible seared off beef. And of course, we can't have a good lamb sauce without some red wine. First of all, I can't have any, I'm Muslim. Second of all, why is Snoop Dogg on there? <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dogg, can't put him in. None of you work as a team! Now finally, once that's gotten nice and steamy, we're gonna cover this whole thing with a beautiful lamb stock. Homemade, by the way. Oh, oh sh Oh! After that fiasco, we've done our best to recover and we're going in with a new pot. Something like that in the kitchen can certainly be humbling, but we're not worried. This still stands to be a lamb sauce worthy of Gordon's praise. Nigga, I think it's breaking even more on the bottom. At this point, we'll let this cook for about six to eight hours. That's how long it'll take to get all that goodness out. 
Once we finish with our stock, what we have here is a beautiful, rich, and incredibly aromatic broth. We're gonna travel it through a chinois just to get all those bits and pieces out. And as we do that, we'll slowly start reducing that stock to get it as concentrated as possible. What we're looking for is a hyper-concentrated lamb flavor. And finally, to finish things off, we'll go in with a hunk of butter. And we'll follow this with a few little of our concentrated stock. Then we'll use just a touch of cornstarch to thicken it up. And we'll finish with this. A beautiful, perfect, and thick lamb sauce. As promised earlier, we're gonna plate this lamb sauce in a beautiful and fun way. With a beef wellington from none other than Gordon Ramsay himself. We picked it up from his restaurant for takeout. Had a little bumpy road, so it's not looking way too crazy. I almost just got into a car accident. But with that said, I think it's time. After all that looking, all that waiting, here it is. I'll remind you to check out my friend The Golden Balance on YouTube, and I'll put his link in the description below. But Gordon, if you're watching this, look no further, because the lamb sauce is right here. Yeah, good, well done. Hey Gordon. Who's this? It's Manny, I found it. Found what? The lamb sauce. How did you get my number? I swear to f***ing God, if you call me again, I will shut this phone.